The Chicken Nugget, an American classic, usually associated with brands like Tyson or McDonald's, and for good reason, I mean, they have a total hold on the chicken nugget market. But what about another chicken nugget that maybe has lost its momentum in recent years, but is a certified classic? That's right, I'm talking about the Dino Nugget. Today, sit back as we look back into the chicken nugget that shaped an entire generation the Dino Nuggets. Now, the origin of the Dino Nuggets are a tad hazy, but what we know for sure is in 1991, Purdue would file a trademark for a three-dimensional dinosaur-shaped nugget. This came less than a decade after the company's introduction to the frozen food market. In the 1980s, they started by selling chicken nuggets, breasts, cutlets, and oven stuffer roasters? All was well when in 1991, then chairman Frank Perdue would officially pass the company onto his son Jim, who immediately started making changes to usher the company into the modern world. One of these changes was creating nuggets that were in fun shapes. They had started producing star-shaped nuggets and football-shaped nuggets, so dinosaurs could have just felt like a natural evolution for the company. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? Well. Until 1993, when a movie would release that would absolutely revolutionize how kids looked at dinosaurs. Jurassic Park. The release dates of these two things are a tad conspicuous. I mean, was it really just a coincidence? Or was it some sort of Hollywood brainwashing effort to get us into dinosaurs? Well, that could be true, except for the fact that if we go back and look at the trademark image, we can see that Purdue actually let the patent expire in 1993. And if you go on the Wayback Machine to Purdue.com and go all the way back to their products, Dino Nuggets don't even pop up until the year 2000. Even though they had the first legal trademark for such, in an interview with Mel Magazine, Mark Tolbert, head of Purdue's Chicken Innovation Division, was quoted as saying, We believe we did invent them, but we can't conclusively prove it either. Which just begs the question, who else was out there making Dino Nuggets? Now, there's a few other establishments out there that claim to be the inventor of Dino Nuggets. One of them being the Museum of Natural History in New York, who have said that in 1993, for the release of Jurassic Park, in their cafe, they did a limited run release of dinosaur shaped nuggets. They even claimed that they were going to do a brontosaurus burger, but were scared that kids would get the wrong idea and not think it was just cow. That would be cool, except that that's only talk. They have no photo evidence from this day or however long the time period was that they were selling them. So sadly, we can't confirm them. And we can rule Tyson out because they didn't even come into the fun shape nugget game until 2004. Losers. But there's one more brand that maybe Americans don't think about a lot that have certified been selling dino nuggets since 1998. And that brand is yummy. Invented by the Friedman family, who has been in the chicken business since the 1920s, these dinos right here actually claim to be the original. Originally founded in Canada, yummy dino buddies have for sure been sold in stores since 1998. But that's about all the information that you can find on the whole damn internet about them. So, from here, I sent an email to the company, which was met with crickets. Now, this podcast right here gave us an interview with a man named Scott Friedman who claims his father was the man who invented Dino Nuggets, but trying to do research into this man because he doesn't drop his dad's name in the podcast is also impossible to find anything about him, Scott Friedman, which is a very common name, so it is hard to find anything about them. And after all that, I may have, uh, I may have made this tweet, which probably didn't help my case with the Emmy. So, from everything I've gathered, the facts are, in 1991, Purdue trademarked a dino nugget, but never produced it, and the patent died in 1993. Jurassic Park was released that same year, and the New York Natural History Museum claims to have sold a limited run of dino nuggets, but there's no photo proof. Then, five years later, Canadian brand Yummy, which has a very shaded background story of their own, had officially started selling them in 1998. And Yummy comes up under Purdue's official website as one of their brands. So, did Purdue come up with this idea secretly in 1991, and they maybe forget about it until Jurassic Park came out, do a test run in the New York Natural History Museum, knowing that it would have a large demographic of kids, and then maybe when that is successful, they sold it under Yummy, which has actually been their brand the whole time. But, that could just be the skepticism in my brain. Especially when it comes to these big companies, I mean, you never really know what to trust anymore. I guess, 
no one will ever know the real, real truth until somebody from one of these companies comes out and tells us the facts. It's undeniable that Dino Nuggets have had an entire impact on a generation growing up in the 90s and 2000s. I mean, something about that breading, the extra thickness of the Dino Nugget, how it like squeezes juice when you bite into it, it's just so nostalgic and hits just on a different level, especially as a kid. I mean, between the ages of 6 to 12, I probably would have had these for every meal if I could have. And I'm sure most of you would have too. And the media has also noticed how Dino Nuggets affected a wave of people, leading it to start being a pop culture icon of its own. There's a viral YouTube video of Baby Yoda singing a whole song dedicated to them. The Netflix show Sweet Magnolias has a whole episode centered around finding Dino Nuggets for an upset kid. Oddballs also has an episode centered around finding Dino Nuggets, and they've definitely been referenced in countless hip-hop songs. Even just a quick Amazon search for Dino Nugget themed gifts, you'll get so much Dino Nugget memorabilia, you could cater your entire life to it. Safe to say, this invention is probably not going to go anywhere with future generations. And I guess all we can hope for is that they'll get less and less processed as time goes on. And not getting recalled ever again. <coughs> Tyson. I hope you enjoyed this video deep diving into the history of Dino Nuggets. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on all the new look back episodes. And check out the playlist to catch up on any of the episodes you might have missed. And I will see you on October 3rd for the next look back. Peace.